Hello guys, I hope you are hearing me right now. We are playing Game Dev Tycoon and we are starting our own gaming company. So let's dive in, let's call it Sagi's Company. For lack of a better name, I guess my name is Sagi. I am male. Ooh. Oh, you can modify your character, that's so cool. Oh, like the, I, I am the nerdy guy with the glasses and the green shirt. Let's see how, many, how much shirts we have. Oh, I like the green one. Very much like the green one. Uh, supporter. Whoa, what was that? What am I doing right now? Game? Develop a new game. Develop a new game. I click everywhere and it says develop a new game. So let's develop a new game. Develop new game. Before developing can begin, you have to decide what kind of game do you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology you, you your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Game 1. No, I don't. <coughs> let's not call this game 1, let's call this a. Let's think, what game do you, we want to develop? Let's develop a fishing game. Fishing for all. Pick topic sports. Gender. Simulation. Platform. Okay, so I see that I have to pay different prices to develop it on different platforms and I see that the market share of the G64 is 56.1% and the market share of the PC is 43.9%. So I guess it's all the same and, but the PC is cheaper. So let's click next. Graphics. Um, text base. These are our options. Text base or 2D. We want 2D graphics. <coughs> Sorry. And we will begin development. Game development runs through three, st three stages. At the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas of game do we want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game is great, greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your, for your game and increase the focus on the areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menus. Okay, I might do it later. So, I think the gameplay is crucial. Story, quest, uh, it's a fishing game. Ha, what, what story can be? And the graphics, because it's a simulation game. Should be. Should be. I don't know, at least beautiful. Okay. Let's do this now. Let's get this game on the road. Game development has now started. Good. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into designs, into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will be also bug, bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released and increase development time and cost. So now this is the second stage. Mm, I want... Oh, artificial intelligence of the fish. That would be interesting. The dialogue... We shouldn't have so many dialogues. Level design... And I think the artificial intelligence should at least be this good. Yeah, that seems about right. Hope, hope you guys will like my fishing game. During, the, during development you can also select additional features for your game. Right now 
you can pick only basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its costs. Okay, you will also see graphic types you, you, can, you selected when you de define the game. This is just a remind. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics in mid-game. Okay, so we are working definitely on the graphics and the world design. I guess this is this the graphics and the sound. This is what we cannot change. Okay, let's continue. Your development of <laughs> your development of your first game is not completed. You can press finish. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do it once you fix the majority of the bugs. Oh, okay, so I, let's 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 release this game bugless. Releasing the game without fixing the bugs can severely affect your rating, and so you should only ever consider consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay, let's finish. The development of, it, of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When developing is complete, completed, you will be presented with a summary of experience game. Woohoo! New topic, new combo. Engine, gameplay, story quest. Oh wow. I don't know, should I? I this is my first game, of course I'm going to release it. Achieve good judgment. Created good good co uh, game combination. Your game is now completed, you will be handed off to publishing. You should see reviews and sales coming from the game soon. You're finished. You you finish your first game. While right? while you develop the game, you also gain research points. You can use this research point to unlock new options for further for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Game review. Your the first review of new game release. Let's read the review. Eight. Oh, that's good. Oh, I get great reviews. That's amazing. <laughs> they really like me, I guess. I think these are good reviews. This is from one to ten. Sagis Company, a newcomer in the game industry, just released the first game, Fishing for All. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Sagis Company are sure to gain fans quickly. Good. So now we can develop new game, research, or game history. Let's see what research does. Research is important to unlock new options. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then hint: try to develop games with different topics and genre combine combinations for a slight research boost. So I, this costs 50. I don't have 50 research. I have only 22. Let's start researching a new a new subject. Um. Racing, no, but I will guess I will research fantasy. Yeah. Good. Fishing for all sold 5,000 units in the first week of the market. We made it in the charts for 37th place. Oh, that's great. I, li I like that rating, I'm satisfied with that. From oh, now that, that my game is on sale, I will receive income from the game every week. Okay, so it's like an asset right now. I'm receiving constant, in 
constant income from the game. We have now 40 fans. That's good. Okay, so can we research, start working on a new game? Sales record. Fishing from company sold 10,000 units. Important milestone. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with my game. I've successfully researched a new topic, fantasy. Great. So right now I'm receiving money. Maybe I should research just one more topic. Law. Sci-fi or pirate? I think I will go with pirate. And the game sells or I the, my game is selling, I'm making some money. So I can deal with the costs. You have successfully researched a new topic, pirate. Great. Now we can start developing a new game. So let's see. So what, what do we have? What topics do we have? We have a medieval and fantasy. Let's try fantasy. RPG, of course. Fantasy RPG. How we will call it? Let's say platform. Still, it's only 57 market share, but it costs four times more than a PC, so it's not really an option. Go with the PC again. Let's change the name of the game to First Fantasy. It's like the opposite of Final Fantasy. Shh, don't tell the Final Fantasy creators. And we're gonna have 2D, of course 2D graphics. <laughs> Text-based graphics? No, never. Okay. Go for it. Oh, the story is very important. The engine not so much. The gameplay and the story are very, very important. I guess they are the same, but the engine is not so much. The engine, it can be like boring game but with great great story and gameplay not not good looking game with great story and gameplay that's that's what i wanted to say okay so artificial intelligence not so much because you know it's just based on fighting dialogues yes yes dialogues are important level design is very very important with this choice. Our fishing game stopped selling. Oh no! <laughs> game of the market. No! But 18, 19,000 copies sold. I'm proud of it. Generating 130,000 in cash. Good. Let's see. Final development stage. Hmm. World design. Graphics? No. Sounds? Maybe more. Let's make average graphics world design. Yes. I want great looking world. Yeah. Recent market studies suggested that the G64 is steadily outselling competitors on the PC sector. Hmm. Customers prefer the lower price, great availability and flexibility hardware configuration over the other home computers. I see. Maybe the next game we'll develop for this console. We'll see how much money we have. Experts say that it might be the end of PC games. We'll see about that. Let's fix some bugs. Well, we, we can afford, we have plenty of money from the previous game. We don't have any bugs. Great. Bugs fixed. New topic, new combo. Let's see what we've gained. Yay! Release the game.
First reviews came in. Shows potential. Good. Oh. oh man. I was hoping for a bigger success than this. But still, it's an, it's an average score. Still, it's pretty good. I guess it will give us some money. Hmm, not as much as the previous game, but okay. Let's get on a new game. Let's pick a topic. Uh, military. Yes, military game. Let's call it uh, Zombie Soldiers. Zombie Wars. Zombie Wars. I want to a zombie game. Uh, of course, action, platform. Mm, we'll go with that G64. Yeah, it's out, it's out selling the PC. Maybe we'll do that this time. 30k, oh, okay, I can handle that. Uh, 2D graphics, of course. Contract work. Hey there, I've just finished First Fantasy and I'm impressed with your talent. I am a contracting business and we could use your skills, sk use skills like yours. If you ever short on cash, just let me know and I will have some work for you. Jason. Thanks, Jason. Contracts have been unlocked. I, I, I guess you can make money on contracts. <laughs> to, see to see available contracts, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring, to bring up the action menu. Can I research well, while I do the game? I have to check that. So, um, the quests on an action game shouldn't be so important. Gameplay should be, and the engine should be, of course, of course, of course. Of course, the engine should be great. Gaining research points. We're gonna research a new engine. The Japanese company is planning to launch their own gaming console, Nintendo. Successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> it's a reference for Donkey Kong and Nintendo. That's funny. Ah, Ninvento. Ninvento, of course. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. I guess it will be amazing. Second stage, um, level design, not so, the dialogue should not be so great, level design, why not, and the intelligence should be important. Artificial intelligence. So far we sell enough to cover our expenses, so this is good. World design, maybe not so much. Graphics should be good, sounds can drop. To balance those, all those sections and hopefully make something good out of it. Almost, I wanted 50 research points, I have 46. Mm, that's a shame. Let's finish the game. First Fantasy is now off the market, sold 1100 units. Hmm. The, the first one sold 1900. But that's not bad, that's not bad. I'm proud of this game, I'm proud of this game though. Oh, I'm leveling up! Yes, leveled up on everything except sounds. Let's release the game. See what's going on. I guess. Oh, contract talk. Let's see what that means. Contracts are useful to earn some extra cash. Yeah, yeah. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss a deadline on contract, you will have to pay penalty. Oh, I guess so. It's better to start out with the smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Let's see. I see. They pay 20k penalty, 7 Gs. Three weeks. Three weeks. 
logo animation, create a logo. Okay, so far I, I'm not short in money, so I will just continue producing games. I can do that. The first review of for our newly game release, Zombie Wars came in. Let's see. Let's see what the population think about zombie games. The zombie Wars. Uh, not perfect, slightly better than the previous one. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of my game. Good. Let's see the sales ranking in. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Today, Nintendo has finished recent rumors announcing their console. The new console, Nintendo. <laughs> the console featured cartridge based games and a new uniquely designed controllers. Yeah, I see. Let's see, let's see what we do. I think first I want to research a new topic. I think I will want to make a racing game. can spend 10 research points on that, then I will develop another game, hopefully reaching 50 research points and developing a new engine. I, get, I got a fan letter, that's so cute, let's read. Hey Sagi, we are the creators of the game dev tycoon and we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Oh, this is from the creators Bradley and Daniel Clark. Winhard Games, the, th those are the creators of the, the game that I'm actually playing right now. I've purchased the game today, it costs like, I don't know, 8 bucks or something. Uh, game Dev Tycoon is a very first game, it means it, it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring more games in the future. I'm loving this game already guys, you've made a great job. Thank you very much, I'm going to post a link to the website where you can purchase the game and support the developers. Always happy to help, always happy to do, it, to do a good deed for friends. For friends. So these are my greetings for you. Thank you guys, this is a great game. 